I used the new 1.20 chiseled bookshelves early, and you can too. Not only have I accurately recreated the textures shown at Minecraft Live, which are so cool by the way, but I even added the ability to individually place books into the shelves, meaning players can now start their own epic libraries filled with the tales of their mining and crafting adventures. By crafting six planks with some slabs, you'll get four of these fancy new blocks, which can be used to store normal books, books with quills, written books, and even enchanted books. And the coolest part about this data pack is that it has the comparator logic that was shown off at Minecraft Live as well, where the output power depends on which book was last interacted with. So if I pull the first book, only one piston gets powered, but if I pull the third book, three of the pistons get powered, and if I pull the last book, all six get powered. This allows us to create combination locks to open secret doors. If I pull some of these books at random, the door won't open, but if I pull the first book, the fourth book, then the sixth book, it opens up, allowing us to hide a secret treasure room behind a bookshelf. Here you can see all of my really messy and probably inefficient redstone. I may be good with commands, but I'm garbage at making redstone contraptions. But maybe one of you can design a better chiseled bookshelf combination lock. The lovely textures on the sides and tops and bottoms of the block make for some really great detailing on floors and walls, so I think I'm going to build a little library to show these textures off. This is the vibe I'm going to go for for the exterior of the library, which, you know, isn't the greatest thing in the world, but it's what's on the inside that counts. Alright, so I got my exterior all finished, and now I'm going to start trying to make some sort of floor design. I'm going to try to make like a long um, main passageway here and then it's going to break off into like individual bookshelves branching out from the left and right. Hopefully I explained that well. If not, I guess you'll find out what I mean. I can't tell if this like floor pattern is cool or if I've just made a giant mess, but you know what? I think I'm just going to go with it. All right, now on the left here, I have a pretty nice uh, little bookshelf set up. I have these aisles over here that are short, and we have these which are a little, little taller, and then we have these really big ones up here in the back. Uh, none of them are full of books yet, but uh, you know, we'll get to that. And now I've just copied what was in this side onto this side. And there we go, now we have some pathways going to the left and right. And I also decided I think that looks good with a big shelf in the back here too. And uh, we added some more path at the front and a little bit of carpet over here just to mix it up a little bit. And now it's time to pop some books in here at random. And there we go. We have a whole bunch of books now all up in the shelves. They look great, honestly. I really, really love how like alive it makes the room feel to have the books really randomly spread out like this. And the best part is, of course, that I can just come up and grab some of these books off the shelf if I want, which is so, so cool. But uh, for what we have in books, we definitely lack in any sort of roof. So let me fix that real quick. And this is what I've settled on for the roof. It's not perfect, but you know what? It'll do. And here is a final look at the interior with all the cute little bookshelves. I've got some lamps and tables about with like plants and other fun little things. These chiseled bookshelves add a lot of awesome texture to this room. We're gonna just ignore my terrible walls and ceiling, but I mean, check out this awesome floor, right? It's pretty good. And they just feel a little more like authentic than the original Minecraft bookshelf block. This feels really cartoony and repetitive and unrealistic, whereas this feels really authentic and like people actually visit this library regularly. And have you ever thought about the fact that the bookshelf has books on all of its sides? Like, how are this book and this book both inside of the shelf? Wouldn't they be hitting each other? I hope these new bookshelves work with enchantment tables, because honestly, I don't want to use the old ones at all. As always, a download of this data pack will be in the description below, if you'd like to check it out yourself. I know that the developers said the 1.20 snapshots are coming in a few days, but I just wanted to play around with this block as soon as possible. Now we can all tinker with this new block early, so we can be extra prepared for when the real thing comes. Go out there, get creating, and with all that being said, I will see you in the next one.